You mean turn that music down? That's good. Uh, you good? That yeah, white dish, look like a quarter. Just push it, go straight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so how did y'all meet? We actually met at a restaurant slash hangout spot. Um, he kept trying to talk to me all night, and I didn't want to talk to him because I hadn't been out probably in two years when I met him. And so I went out to the bar, and I um, started talking to this other guy. And the other guy said, well, why don't you talk to my friend? And I said, well, who's your friend? And he said, Kevin. He said, you know, he does real estate here. And I just bought a house. I was like, oh, wow, because I couldn't reach my real estate agent. I couldn't find him. He went missing in action. So I started asking him some questions about the home buying process because I just bought my house. And so I had a lot of questions. Um, and he was so helpful to tell me everything that I needed to know about um, what I just purchased. And he was a great help. So I thought that I at least owed him my phone number since he helped me with my information. It was kind of a trade-off. But then, as I was going home that night, I found him trying to get in the car with another girl, and I had to pull him out. So, uh, is that the way the story went, Kevin? Not exactly. Not exactly. That, well, with that part of it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Continue on. Okay. Past the point you thought I was trying to talk to somebody. Well, after that, I called him, um, and he told me he called me back. He didn't remember me, uh, so... I had to make him remember me and then he still didn't remember me so he said just come over to my house and I'll see if I can look at you and remember you. So I normally don't go over to guys houses but for some reason I went and when he opened the door he goes oh okay yeah I remember you but come to find out he really didn't. He told me later he didn't remember me. He just wanted me to walk across the threshold into his house because then he had me. Well mm -hmm. that's kind of the story. Okay. But it was actually after a New Year's party, okay. and I was at the house just relaxing with one of my one of my partners. He came by Rob Base, and he said, "Hey, let's go out." This is like the day after New Year's, so this is like the first. So I said, "Okay, we're gonna go out." So we went out, and it became a fast night because I don't remember anything from that night. So I get a phone call the next day. Saying, hey, how you doing? Now, I'm a real estate broker. Showing a house. I'm in the midst of showing a house. I'm like, who is this Hispanic lady calling me? You know, Latino, Hispanic. I'm like, okay, because her enunciation was different. I'm like, okay. All right. So she's like, I'm thinking someone calling me about a house. So she's like, hey, you know, how you doing? You know, I'm like, okay. You know, I'm being business friendly. So I'm like, okay, you interested in the house? She's like, no, uh, yeah, but, you know, so she started talking. So I realized she wasn't calling me about a particular house listing that I had. So I'm like, okay, hmm. I said, well, I'm with a client right now. Can I call you back? So I had to think about this all day. I'm thinking about who is this person? Who's calling me? Who is this lady? So I called the guy I went to the club with, and he's like, yeah, you was talking to this little shorty all night. I was like, okay, tell me a little something about it. He's like, yeah, she's real beautiful, real fine, real down to earth. And I'm like, I was? So I called her back. And I'm sitting here trying to get my faculties together because I did not know who she was. So I said, okay. He said, yeah, y'all was talking all night. Long conversation. I talked to her. She was like, yeah. We was talking for like three hours. I was like, three hours? In the club. In the club, three hours. So I'm still a complete blank. That's why you shouldn't drink. I was a complete blank. So I said, you know, you want to meet out, being a gentleman that I am. You want to meet out? She's like, no. Oh. I said, well, do you want to just come by my house and we can meet before we go out? She said, well, I'll stop by. So I'm sitting here praying like, Lord, don't let her be somebody crazy or uh, just let her be the correct person. So when I open the door, my tongue and my from almost fell out my mouth because she was so beautiful. I was like, whoa. Aww. I was like, whoa. <laughs> and the first thing popped in my mind at that time, really, to be honest, I'm eating that. So, you know, that's what popped in my mind. So, 
she come in the house and we sitting at my table. We just uh, you know, we just floored. I'm like, this has to be a joke. I'm waiting for Ashton Kushner to come in and say you being punk because she's so fine. And I don't remember this lady. I'm like, who is this lady? Coming in my house, but at the same time, only thing popped in my mind is I'm hitting that. <laughs> so uh, she came in. So we sitting down, we talking, and I think may have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And the conversation was actually real smooth. It was real smooth. So I said, oh, I said, sweetheart, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really have no clue who you are. But from that point, we got to know each other. We went out for over a year before we introduced ourselves, our kids to us, so we got a chance to know each other. Mm -hmm. And it turned out to be a great relationship. We've been cool ever since then. But let me add one thing in that. I did not know her name for about a week and a half. I didn't know her name for about a week and a half. The second date she was coming to my house, I went to the gas station to get some gas. And she called me from her work office one time and I, I dialed the number back and I heard Takika, you know, so I let my friend listen to the voicemail like about three times. And we could not figure out Takika, Kikika. So I looked in the convenience store window and it was the beer Keystone. And in my phone for over a year, I had Keystone as her name. Wow. And I kept on this till I finally remembered to get together Takika, but it still stayed Keystone for a long time. Me and my partner Rob listed that phone number for about a week and a half and couldn't figure out the name, so she became Keystone. But it's been such a wonderful time. We've been good, had a good time. You know, our lives have connected, our kids are balanced, and it's just been a wonderful relationship. And I'm honored and proud to have you as my future wife. And I think you're going to make an excellent partner. That's what I'm Thank you, baby. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> nice. All pink. That was it. That was good. Kevin, what did you say a while ago? You're what? I'm hitting it. <laughs> and that's who he's hitting. Lord have mercy. She is awesome.